Okay guys, so today I really just want to talk about what you should use on your airbox. Um, a little bit about the maintenance on your four-wheelers. Um, but before we get into this video, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on, um, like the video, comment, you know, what you think about what I have to say. But uh, anyways, today's video is going to be more about maintenance, especially to do with your airbox, your airbox lid, and you know, whether you should use silicone gasket maker or dielectric grease and where you should use it at but uh let's get in all right so uh there's one thing i really wanted to stress today you can probably tell from the title of this video but please 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 do not ever use silicone gasket maker whatever you want to call it on your airbox lid for your airbox Please just use some dielectric grease. I really like this, I got it from O'Reilly's. Um, the CRC Technician Grade Dielectric Grease with this little handle and nozzle. I really like it because I can squirt a bead, kind of like I already have. Um, but guys, if you use dielectric grease on your airbox lid, it makes life so much easier. Maintenance is a big, big thing with these folders that we take and, you know, dump in the mud and through the water and, I mean, you know, we. We ride these things so hard, but we also want them to last. Um, so please, don't use silicone or gasket maker. I know a lot of people that has. Um, and you know, yeah, it creates a good seal, but what are you gonna do when you need to check your air filter? I mean, you're gonna break the silicone and have to scrape it all off and re-beat it? That's it's really, really aggravating. I don't see why everybody wouldn't just use dielectric grease, put it on there, you know, every time or two you take it off just go ahead and squirt some more around it i mean i'd rather spend you know a couple of dollars on dielectric grease and keep this thing sealed up and tight and be able to keep checking everything than spend you know how much ever it is on silicone and never check my air filter um but anyways i just really really wanted to stress maintenance um on these four wheelers and i mean you know you really need to check your diff fluid your front and rear differential you need to always check your oil every time you go ride check your oil um every couple of rides check your air filter mine has this kind of can't really see it but from the honda place they actually put this oil on it i don't know if you can see it on my fingers it kind of stick together you probably see the tackiness there um but anyways they put that oil in that filter and it helps keep it a little little cleaner um you know just a little better filtration so to say but anytime you have a vehicle uh, vehicle no anytime you have an atv snorkeled everybody's always worried about leaks it's most of the time from your air box so just put some dielectric grease on it keep it on there um you know all of your fuses i've got a little fuse box here there's some fuses and relays right in there where i'm touching the screwdriver at um you know, just put dielectric grease around all of it all of your connections these have all been dielectric greased before. Any connection on this four-wheeler has been dielectric greased, and it helps so much. The people with the new Rubicons are having problems with uh, you know, four-wheel drive light flashing, and it's because they snorkel them, they put them in water, you know, up to the handlebars, and your fuses and relays are wet. So of course, you know, it's gonna have electrical problems, and it's gonna throw on lights when there's really nothing wrong. Um, but that's that's really the main gist of it. Just dielectric grease will save you so much when you snorkel your four-wheeler and nine times out of ten when you have a leak on your snorkel it's it's air box i mean it's it's the lid or like with the new rubicons and i'm sure the foremans are the same way and um maybe you can see it in there but it's you know that cap there that was that was a real big uh issue with these four-wheelers so it had a secondary air chamber on it and i cut that out and just put the you know the, the little cap in there i think it's a a two or three inch shallow cap pvc and you just tighten it down on there and it works fine and uh now i would i would say that the silicone is good to you know seal all the boots to your air box and that kind of stuff that you're not worried about taking off but anything you have to take off and on you really need to put dielectric grease on to keep it sealed up and it's just uh you know it's just a a real good precautionary measure but guys if you skip out on anything with the four-wheeler whatever you do make sure you don't skip out on your maintenance i mean that's 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 what keeps them running but uh anyways that's uh what i really wanted to share 
so if you enjoyed this video please make sure that you like you comment subscribe um i think at this time i'm at 91 subscribers really trying to hit that 100 mark so uh you know if y'all could help me out with that i'd really appreciate it but uh that's it